This guy said to me one time, the best part of a car show is at the end of it, when they all crank up and drive out, because that way you get to hear them, see them go. And, you know, I was thinking about that. You know, you go to a car show, you drive in, you park, you walk around, all these cars are sitting there, and they're not moving, they're not making any noise, they're not doing anything. It looks sort of like statues. It's almost like they could be dead things. There's no life in them. I mean, yes, yeah, shiny chrome, some guy sitting there in a the lawn chair, you know bored out of his mind. I mean, he puts all his work into this car, he shows up at a car show, and he's just sitting there with it. People just walk around, they're looking at it, they can't touch it. Little signs everywhere say, don't touch, don't touch. You know, it ain't working for me. It just ain't working for me. And, and I got some other thoughts I've been having lately, and I guess I need to share them with somebody, and since you're here, you know, here's what I'm thinking. Um, since I've built this rat rod, I've had a lot of people show up, and They'll go out there and I'll say, you want to go for a ride? And I'll take them out and I'll ride them around the quarry. Oh, just make them happy as all get out. They just grin from ear to ear. I even uh, mentioned this on YouTube one day and I had a bunch of people writing and said, I'd line up and pay you to ride in that thing. I'd love to ride in that thing. I, I was thinking on that, you know, some more. Uh, and then I was sitting in church. We, I go to this little church and uh, the thing I like about the church is that um, they do stuff for people. For example, we've got this Korean war veteran in church that uh, can't walk. He's got a, a wheelchair and he needed a, a van, a wheelchair accessible van, so the church is raising $21,000 to buy this guy a van. I think that's just honking. Um, I've also, I also know that they're raising money all the time to give to the uh, food pantry because people ain't got enough to eat. They're raising money to heat people's houses because people can't afford to heat, especially nowadays with people out of work and everything. You know, even the kids in this church are out doing me. They're all coming up with really interesting ideas to raise money. And, you know, here I am. I'm sitting around. I'm messing around with this old hot rod. And I'm thinking, dang, you know, it seems like I should be able to put together an idea that would incorporate all this stuff. Well, it hit me this morning in church. What if we had a, a, a hot rod show, a rod run, a, a car show that wouldn't, not like any other car show you've ever been to. What if the whole idea of this car show is that guys bring their hot rods out with the idea that we're going to let people ride at them. We're going to take people for rides. And the people are going to take the rides and they're going to make a donation. Like, if you want to ride in my car, great. Here's a little box. Put five bucks in the box, jump in the car. We'll go We'll go up, down, around by the old town hall. We'll go out on Highway 17. We'll wind her up a little bit up the road. Maybe I can bark the tires a couple of times. Go back around by the tractor place and come up by the fairground and back to the church. That ought to be worth a few bucks to somebody. I mean, we wouldn't have to say, you know, you have to pay five bucks. But, you know, what if we just had a thing and said, you know, make a donation. We'll jump in the car. We'll go for a ride. Well, what if I did that? And what if what if I got the folks at the church involved with me? And what if we all, what if I put out an invitation to other hot rod folks? Hey, come on down and show up on this particular day. We're going to have a car show. We're going to ride around. We're going to let some people find out what it's like to ride around in an old car. And we're going to raise some money and we're going to feed some people. Or we're going to buy a wheelchair for this veteran. Or we're going to, you know, we're going to do something useful with our cars instead of letting them just sit there like dead, inanimate things. Well, that's what I've been thinking. That's what's been going through my brain in the last few days or last few minutes or the last few hours. I've just been thinking all this over. Um, I had another thought the other day. See, I'm putting all these thoughts and pieces together because that's how my brain works. I was listening to uh, a news story and they was talking about this whole cash for plunkers thing. You know, that's where a while back they were paying a lot of money if you bring your old car in and they would destroy your old car and give you some money, you buy a new car. Well, this is a great idea for a lot of people because, you know, it gets these old gas hogs off the road. Well, in this news report, somebody was saying, well, why did they not let people do that for cars that was older than 1984? And they said, well, the antique car lobby was against it and this news reporter had never heard of an antique car lobby she would never heard of Hemings Motor News she couldn't understand why anybody would want to save an old car an old gas burning car is polluting the environment why would anybody want to save one she was just completely clueless and the reason people are completely clueless is because they never wrote, ridden in one of these things and the reason they never ridden in one of these things is because we ain't out there giving people rides. And we could be doing that. We could be throwing a whole different kind of car show, having people come down that had never been in an old car, letting them get in the front seat, taking them for a ride, showing them how much fun it is and how cool it is and how really interesting it is. And we could be raising a little bit of extra money to feed folks. Or who knows what? You know, whatever your favorite charity is. So that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about 
having a different kind of car show right here in my little town. I'm thinking about, I think I'm going to go down to the church and I'm going to get the preacher and I'm going to bring him over here and I'm going to take him out in the garage and I'm going to put him in the, in the hot rod and I'm going to ride him around the car and then when I come back I'm going to say, okay, this is what I propose. I propose we put out an invitation. I can't do this this year because I ain't got my car stickered, but I'll have it stickered by next year. We put out an invitation to all the other hot rodders to show up, bring your car, be ready to ride people around, collect some money while you're doing it, and give the money to the church at the end of that and say, okay, put this toward whatever you're trying to raise money for right now. I bet we could raise a boatload of money. I bet we could have a boatload of fun, and we could then do more to support the sport of old cars than anybody's doing right now. What do y'all think of that? Don't y'all think that's a good idea? I mean, I think it's such a good idea that I made this video because I wanted to introduce the idea to some other folks because there's other folks out there that like old cars and hot rods and hot rod shows. You know, I don't have to be the only one that does this. A lot of people could do this and it could turn into a really good thing. So that's why I made this video. Y'all have a nice day now.